Welcome to the NICU at the Royal Alex. This site has 69 beds. Here at the Alex, each of the rooms is called a pod. There are spaces for six to nine babies in each pod. The unit is shaped like an L. The level three side is for babies requiring more attention and the level two side has many babies working on the transition to home. Your baby will be cared for by a registered nurse or licensed practical nurse, as well as many other members of the NICU team. The role of each of these team members are described in a different section of this video. Definitely, I think getting involved in her care every day uh, made me feel like her parent. Um, initially, there's uh, it's really difficult to become attached to them because they don't feel like yours. You're not caring for them um, as you would at home. And so I think all those little things that you can do, whether it's just touching them, um, helping with diaper changes, just getting involved and being next to them, it helps you get to know them better. And I felt that was when I started to feel like her parent, when I actually was getting to know her. I think the NICU just kind of has a little bit of a stigma of, you know, being scary and really intense. Initially I felt very overwhelmed after, um, I think, being here initially and just kind of seeing and everyone's very thorough, friendly, I felt less overwhelmed after even just one or two days. So learning how to take care of a NICU baby is definitely a challenge. Um, we were fortunate that she, for the most part, was really helpful. And for me, it wasn't, it wasn't the holding. It was reading her chart every single day. But one of our nurses said, look at your baby first. That's the best judge of how she's doing today. How pink is she and how happy is she? Um, and then read the chart. Um, so for me, who has no medical background, reading that chart and seeing those numbers in healthy zones and reading the research paper on why she's being treated the way she did, just gave me a connection to um, ask more questions and find out more. Things like that made me feel really, um, feel really connected and that I could at least know what was going on because everything else was kind of up in the air. My most positive moments for the NICU were actually being able to, to do the care myself. So when I found out that I was allowed to administer meds and change diapers and give baths and no matter what kind of bath it was, even if it was just the like washcloth sponge bath, it was all good for me. Anything I could do to be the mom in that situation was amazing to me. So every single time I got to do one of those things was like a little celebration for me. When well, we first entered, it would have been nice to have known that I could be as involved as I wanted to be in my boys' care, so including being able to go through their charts, making sure that I knew around what time they were going to be doing rounds, so I could always participate in those. And I could ask as many questions as I wanted, and just being able to have the right to hear my voice being heard when it came to my son's care. You will see many NICU team members preparing for your baby's admission. If your baby is not already in an incubator, then your baby will be moved to one. These are houses for babies that provide warmth and humidity. They also shield baby from light and noise. You may hear alarms as the monitors are switched over to the bedside monitors. These are often loud, but are usually not serious. Having a baby in the NICU can be very frightening for new and experienced parents. The many wires and tubes may make you feel scared to touch your baby. Feeling distant from your baby is a common reaction to this situation. There are many ways to bond with your baby, like touching or talking to your baby or doing kangaroo or skin-to-skin -skin care with your baby. NICU staff are here to help you adjust and feel more comfortable with the routines and environment of the NICU. Keep asking questions and talking with the staff. In the first few days, while mom is still a patient in the Lois Hole Hospital for Women, you will enter the NICU through the Pedway. If you are coming from another hospital or once you are discharged home, you and your guests will enter the NICU through the welcome desk entrance. For the safety and security of all the babies in the NICU, you will be asked to identify yourself before entering the NICU for the first few times or until you get to know the staff. You are welcome to see your baby at any time. When entering and leaving the NICU and before touching the babies, it's important for all visitors and caregivers to wash their hands. 
All babies who are sick or born early have weak resistance to infection. Infections can be very harmful to all babies. Hand washing decreases the germs your baby is exposed to. The NICU team does bedside rounds for each baby every morning. The team includes you, the neonatologist, also called a neo, a neonatal nurse practitioner, NNP, or an NICU fellow, your baby's nurse, the charge nurse, a dietitian, a pharmacist, and a respiratory therapist. The morning rounds are when the team talks about each baby's needs and makes a detailed plan of care. You are an important member of your baby's team. This is an opportunity for you to share how you feel your baby is doing. Ask questions and listen to the team share information about the health of your baby. You are welcome to participate in the decisions and discussions about the care plan for your baby. Healthcare team members are available throughout the day and night should you have any questions. If there are significant changes to your baby's plan of care, the healthcare team may need to contact you when you are not at the bedside. It's important to leave reachable telephone numbers with the nurses at the bedside. You are also welcome to call the NICU at any time, day or night, to check on your baby. You'll be given your baby's hospital ID number to identify yourself when you call. For the protection of you and your baby's privacy, health information will only be provided to parents. We also have a mother baby unit known as Five West. This is still part of the Royal Alex NICU, but is located on the fifth floor of the Lois Hole Hospital for Women. There are six double rooms on the unit. Nearing the end of your NICU stay, you may be asked if you would like to move to this unit. It is unique in that it is a transition unit to home. It allows mums to stay with their babies and be involved in their care 24 hours a day. Your baby may be transferred to other neonatal units in Alberta. Other hospitals in Northern and Central Alberta that have NICUs are the Grey Nuns, Misericordia, Grand Prairie, and Red Deer. These hospitals might be closer to your home, making it easier for your family to be with your baby. If your baby needs surgery or to see other specialists, they may need to be transferred to the David Schiff NICU at the Stollery Children's Hospital in Edmonton. This NICU specializes in the care of cardiac, surgical, and critically ill infants.